Hi everyone, this is Grace, how are you? You know, we would live up to age 100 and we would be working until age 80. And guess what? Only 10% of the retirees can maintain their lifestyle with their own money without relying on children or family's money. Only 10% of retirees, they say. So please redesign your life. Let's redesign your life. So this week, I am talking about how to get connected with the right people. When we were to live up to age 100, and especially we would live our life to the fullest, we have to redesign our life. We have to reconnect it with the right people, especially the second half of your life. So here I have, uh, you know, quoted, this is the reference from Money Magazine, December 28, 2018. This is from Money Magazine. I found it in a Twitter. So I posted this link to my social media today. So according to this Money Magazine article, it says rich people are investing more in education and the health. Rich people are investing more in education and health. And I really agree with this article. Since we were to live age 100 and we were to work until age 80, health and education is our top priority. Health and education should be your top priority too. So if you want to get connected to the right people, I would go to gym. I would go to more expensive, high-end gym, not the, you know, YMCA or those your community family gym. But you might wanna look into the high-end gym, where people, the memberships are most likely affluent people or rich people, especially when you see people having one-on-one -on -one instructor, you know, coaching session on a regular basis, like weekly session, bi-weekly session, and uh, they are there one year, two years, three years. They have a weekly individual session with the coach or instructor. Most likely, they are rich people. And uh, somebody told me, after you retire, only 10% of retiree can maintain their lifestyle, just like these people I just mentioned. You know, before retirement, if they were lawyers, they were partners of a big law firm, or if they were, you know, corporate people, they could have been executives of a Fortune 500 companies. So when those people retire, they have sufficient asset or they have sufficient savings so that they don't have to sacrifice their lifestyle after retirement. And they can continue their gym membership and they can continue their weekly individual session with their gym instructors. Those are the people, they were the top 10% of the retirees that they don't have to rely on their children or their relatives money they can maintain their lifestyle and then if you are young listening to this video you wouldn't appreciate it but when you retire when you become 60 65 years old or older you would really really appreciate what i'm talking about because many people would have developed chronic disease they may or may not be able to go to gym. Not only that, they may not be able to have one-on-one -on -one private session on a weekly basis for years after retirement because they are afraid of running out of their savings and they've already developed chronic disease. Their joints are aching. They may not do exercise. So please, while you are young and healthy, please invest in your health and also education. Education, not the academia too much, 
but education in terms of money education like investment or something else okay all right so that's all for today i'll see you tomorrow bye bye